Hello, and welcome to the latest installment of Level Up, uh, in which we will be leveling up Saga to level four. Finally. Finally. Let's uh, do, first of all, the most important thing. Are you going to take your average hit points or are you going to gamble? I, I mean, since I started the whole thing, I have to keep going and I have to gamble. And I will probably end up regretting it. But, uh, you know, live fast, yeah. die young. <laughs> Well, look, die, I mean, it's, die at level four. It's fine. You got a plus two constitution modifier. <laughs> yeah. And you're rolling a d10. So. Okay. I mean, that's not terrible. Let me find my d10. That's a d10. I mean, it's swingy, but it's not terrible. Mm. Come on. Six. I rolled a six. Six plus your modifier. So we're on Which eight. Which is eight. Yes. That's not, that's not bad. That is out, not bad at out of all. Possible 12. That's not yeah. bad. Yeah. Right. Let me. And really, if anybody needs high HP, it's probably. It is me. Yes. Um, right. Manage character. Manage hit points. So that is going to bring you, what did we say? Eight. 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 It gives me plus eight. Mm. So right, that brings you to a nice 36, 36, 37. Uh, 37. Not bad. 37 total. That's all right. Um, Giving a Thoric a run for his money, but <laughs> almost. Um okay. Um so the... bear with bear with while she right. one, two. No, that's healing. Mm. I will, whilst you're making the adjustments, uh just uh converse with the audience. Uh so the other thing for level four, which is nice and simple, well, it can be nice and simple, or it can be complicated, depending on how you want to do this. Um, but we're looking at either an ability score improvement. Or a feat. Well, I have chosen a feat. Okay. What mm. feat have you chosen? I have chosen, I wrote it down. It is <laughs> Martial Adept. Is this the one that we discussed yesterday? Yes, it is indeed. Okay. Martial Adept, which, since I'm a battle master, will give me one extra superiority dice. And also two new maneuvers. Two new maneuvers, which I'm very excited about. That is very cool. So sometimes we do actually manage some character optimization. <laughs> and, uh, I think that definitely yeah. is in it. In which case, then, so you get two new maneuvers. 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 Um, so which two new maneuvers are you thinking of selecting well i'm definitely choosing parry an excellent and, choice yes parry which is uh, when another creature damages you within a melee attack you can use your reaction and expend a superiority dice to reduce the damage by the number on your superiority dice roll plus your dexterity modifier which for you is a plus two so you can yes. potentially reduce it down to, well, it's going to be between three and mm. 10 damage that you can reduce down by. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. That's pretty damn and good. then, then I, uh, I am in between two, which I might ask what the group think. Ooh. Um, so I like the sound of rally and repost. Oh, okay. So rally does this on your turn you can use a bonus action to expend one superiority dice to bolster res the resolved of one of your companions when you do so choose a friendly creature you can see who can see or hear you that creature gains temporary hit points equal 
to the superiority dice and your charisma modifier. I mean, I'm not very charismatic, but you would still get hit points from my superiority. <laughs> so points. not charismatic, there is no charisma modifier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No need to sorry, rub it sorry, in. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just for reference. <laughs> so I uh this is why I'm like, is it worth it to have rally? Whereas repost, because I'm definitely choosing parry. But repost would be when a character misses you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction and expend a superiority dice to make a melee attack against the creature. So it gives me... When a character they... misses you very, very much. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... That was bad. So what are the other manoeuvres that you already have? I have goading attack, which is obviously uh, it's disadvantage yeah. to attack. Hit me, anyone. hit me. <laughs> hit me, hit me. Yeah. Disadvantage on everyone else. Lunging attack, which means I can go further. And then maneuvering attack, which gives you guys um, uh, you can move without um, what's it called? Without enemies getting the opportunity to attack. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're definitely taking parry, and then it's between rally and repost. So it's basically buff your allies mm. or get a basically an extra attack of opportunity. Yeah. Uh, this isn't from a tactical standpoint. Pretty much from a what I think is more personally, I think is more saga is repost. It is than... more. It is more. If if we're going going with saga, it would be repost. But I'm mm. thinking if we're going to be tactical. Is it worth taking rally? And this is the question. I'd say if your charisma modifier was a bit more, then yeah. I mean, it's not bad anyway. Um, but your your superiority is a D eight. Yes, I think maybe uh, repost you'd get more. Yeah, I would get. Yeah, we'd get extra extra attacks, more <laughs> wacky wacky. I mean, you are like one of the sort of chief damage dealers as well yeah okay yeah the the group have spoken let's choose repost so parry and repost are yes. your maneuvers of choice Good. yes i think i think repost is a wise choice for what it's worth um and uh so is there anything else that comes with with uh... let me so it's already taken me to level four Yep. But I haven't made the choices. No, I mean so... in terms of your, your feet, is there anything else? You get more superiority dice, was it? One superiority dice, extra, and two manoeuvres. That, okay. that is it. It's a, it's a good enough feat as it is. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I agree. Okay, great. So that's you levelled up then, right? Yeah. Superb. Right. Well, thank you for joining us, everyone. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode.